This is a raw test of manliness! This video is made possible through the continuing support of Dominic Vogel and other people just like you. If you're interested in helping me make better videos and do a better job at getting people exploring science and engineering, check out the links below in the description and see how you can be a part of this. Thank you. Hello guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome to today's Captain's Vlog. We're back here with Papa Kilo who has come to help answer a lot of the comments that people made. There was a lot of people who were like, you need to hook that up to Cisco. You don't want to know how, like when I read comments, it's the always voice. in voices. Yeah. The number of people who have the voice of Zoidberg. Oh, good. Yeah, like that's just, that's like my go-to. When I read a YouTube comment, it's in the voice of Zoidberg. Oh, God. And it gets worse from there. Like that's as good as it gets. Um... <laughs> Except yours. Yours, for some reason, are in the voice of Sean Connery. But we've got... This yes. is the generator from the Biddle <coughs> Megger autopsy. Yes. Okay, now this came out of a Megger. Right. A proper British Megger. Right. And I couldn't figure out what the middle wire was for. Like, okay. it, there, there were people who were like, well, oh, that's got to be for the ohms measurement. And I was like, it's fucking Megger. All it does is read ohms. It's, yeah. It reads ohms and, and millions of ohms, but it, it's an ohm meter. But this is just the raw dingus. Right. And I managed, and you should be proud of me. I've done like 100 videos of taking things apart. I'm really good at taking things apart. I took that apart and put it back together again. Damn thing still works. Ah! That's impressive. Ha! Ah! So what we wanted to do is, I, I was waiting till you got here because I knew that that made like 300 volts. Yeah. It's, it says in the manual, it makes like 300 volts or 600 volts. It makes hundreds of volts. Yes. Okay? And I know that in your world of electronics, one of the most commonly used tools is the oscilloscope. And I knew that we had the old and busted oscilloscopes that are like analog and rugged and tough. Yeah. And we had the shiny new digital oscilloscope. Yeah. And I know that in your world, your idea of high voltage is like 12. Most of your stuff runs on like five volts, you know, that whole transistor, transistor logic thing. Right. And I knew that if my dumbass took that thing and jacked it into there, I'm going to let smoke out. Not that I've had before. experience with letting smoke out of things in the past month. So I was smart. I was the responsible adult. And you I waited. waited for adult I waited for proper adult supervision so that Paul could show up and hook that to there in a way that would not make it explode. Okay. Mind you, that would probably get us way better views. Probably. But I'll take what I can get. So teach me what you did, what you've learned, and what you got. All right. What I did, first off, is notice there's three wires coming out of the thing. And they're in a certain arrangement. Okay. One, two, three. So I grab the e-hole meter. Put it on ohms and start measuring things. Now you're measuring ohms. I'm measuring ohms. And all I wanted to do was see what the, what the resistance was wire to wire. Okay. So between those two, I get 5.3. Between those two, I get 4.8. And between these two, I get 10. That tells me right off that That's this, a center tab. this guy here is a center tab. Okay. And these guys here are the ends of a coil. Okay. So, so what they're doing is this generates two different voltages. They're getting one voltage like blue to yellow and one voltage blue to red. Well, it's like your house. They're 180 out of phase. Oh. All right. So if you ground this guy and put diodes on these two, you'll get a DC rectified. But it's going to be ripply as hell, but you'll it's, get DC. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's rectified AC. Okay. So I take the scope and put one of the... That's a cool little clippy hooky thing you got there. That's standard on a scope. Probe. I don't I don't know anything about electronics yet. That's We're okay. going to learn that this, this All year. All right. So there we're clipped onto a scope. Now the scope over here, I got to crank to the maximum voltage it'll read, which is 50 volts per grid. The knob here specified. Yeah, this 50. is a times 10 probe. So you look at the times 10 probe thing and it's, I got it, it's a far over as it'll go. So times 10 probe means for every 10 volts this reads in, it shows one? Yes. Okay. Now, the number represents vol the grid. Okay. So this is 50 volts per grid. So 50, 100, 150, Okay, 200. hang on, hang on, hang on. Because this is where guys like me fall into holes. This is a times 10 probe. Right. So if you're getting 
50 volts in, you're getting 5 volts to the machine. Correct. But by going and reading over here at the 10X probe, that cranks it back up. So when it says 50 volts per thing, it's actually 50 volts here. Right. It's not, so this is doing the interpolation it's doing it down it. and back. Yes. Okay. Anyhow, going down, we're at, this is at zero volts right now. I got it set to DC on the little selector there. Okay. But going down, it's negative 50, negative 100, negative 150, negative 200. So we got 400 volts top to bottom. Can I crank it? Yeah, you can crank it. Put, put your thumb down so it's... Oh yeah, touch the top of the thing while you're cranking. It's crank. safe, okay. it's safe. It'll be fine. But you crank it a little bit. Oh wow. So there's, you're outputting 400 volts. Peak Damn! Peak right there. Really? Yeah, you don't want to lick that. 400, you, dude, did you see the video? I had this in my hand like, wee! I'm cranking that damn thing up. Yeah, yeah, so, good thing you didn't touch stuff. So the voltage goes up, so like right there. You measure how many grids, top to bottom, it's 50 per grid. So right there at that speed, I'm maxing this out. Well, you crank, you're maxing out the And I'm not, I'm not going very fast at all. Like, I can go way faster in go that. Way, go way faster. I won't break the thing? You won't break if the thing. If I go off the top of this guy? Yeah. All right, you gotta, you gotta move a little bit. Scooch. Unless you want to hold it, you can okay. hold it. You can hold the thing and I'll crank it. That's what friends do. Let me get this wire in a little it's tighter to you. Get, get that away. That, okay. okay, go give it a shot. <laughs> so this is going up, judging by the angle, this is going up like this high. Yeah, you're blowing off the top, you're, you're exceeding the range of the scope and display. So you need some sort of voltage but divider or something. But still, even though I'm cranking this because of the 10X Pro, the scope, which is doing the interpolation and telling us it's 50 a grid, is still only seeing 5 volts a grid in reality. Because, and I figured this out because over here on the knob, there's the 1X bracket that still has 5. Yes. So, why does it make that funny waveform? Um, does this work backwards? Yes. Oh, it totally works backwards. Go see the way. Okay. Uh, why it makes that waveform, that I'm not entirely certain. That has to do, I'm guessing, with the specific shape of the magnet in the armature and the magneto-reluctance and inductance in the coil on the generator itself. I'll go with that. frequency you output is totally dependent on how fast you crank. So, can you tell me what the frequency is right there? Uh, I'd have to look at what the divisions are and how many grids you're doing. At, at your fast, it's, it's looking like you're getting the, the one grid for each loop, so two grids for a full cycle. What's the knob? I don't know. Treat me places, because I got an idea. I can crank that fast, and you can make them all appear on the screen. You got to change your scan rate. I don't know what they call it. Right. Right, right now, hold on. We're at five milliseconds per grid, so one wave is about one, two, three. Call it three grids. It's such a pleasant, soothing sound. <laughs> call it three grids at What's five that? milliseconds. It's a green light over here. It's trigger. Oh, okay. All right. Three grids, five milliseconds per grid, that's 15 milliseconds for a waveform. So take 0 0.015 and do a 1 over X on your calculator and that'll tell you what you got for a frequency. I got an idea. This is what I got from my frequency. Oh, there you go. Just make sure the hand and the knob don't hit the... Okay. Ooh, All right, so I'm going to crank this like hell. And you're going to change the speed that that scans across so we can show the whole thing. I'm guessing that's as tight as you can make it in the vertical axis. Yeah, that's where like all we're maximated. Yeah. All right, so just bring the bring the other one in. No, you, more more lines. Oh 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 okay, it's oh! I get it. It starts running okay. so slow. All right, try that then. Go the other way. So the speed that that goes across, like right there it's going like right? Right. But if I start moving this... Okay, it's starting, it's picking up the trigger, so it's starting at the same point on the waveform. That's why it's stationary on here. If I mess with where the trigger is, I can move it side to side. Oh, that's cool. And, okay, there's normal there. Why is that so tall right now?
All right, it's triggering at the same voltage every time, which is why you're getting a pulse. So that's the waveform that we're getting out of this generator, like yes. the shape of the waveform. And I'm turning pretty slow right now because I want to keep it all on the screen. Yeah, if I go to, that's normal trigger where I'm setting the voltage that it triggers at. It's like I can move it way down so it triggers at the very bottom, which puts the bottom spike at the start of the screen on the left. And I can turn the trigger up and have it trigger, uh, that's about at the peak. So now the top is where it triggers and you get the waveform from there. This is cool as hell. Now, normally, you just set the, the trigger to auto, and you can set the level still, but... So there, if you don't have a voltage transition that makes the trigger, it'll just trigger itself off the AC coming in. So if you stop right now, there, that's where it goes to just doing the flat line. So I think the next step of this, for science, is that uh, we like hook that up to... I'm thinking your nipples would be a good choice. Yeah, no. <laughs> so we have no way of measuring what the voltage is. Can we do it with the voltmeter? Would my voltmeter measure that? Or is because the frequency is so screwy, I don't know if that's going to take it. It's an RMS voltmeter. We should be able to get it. The thing is, you'd need to consistently spin at a constant rate because if you go to faster and slower, you're going to get higher. Let's give it a shot and see if we can get it. I just don't want to screw up my meter. That's that's my only concern. As long as we don't break my meter, like that's got to be good for 600 volts. I've used it for 480 a million times. Mm, it says 1,000. Well, as long as you're holding the leads, I think that's a great idea. Okay, I have a couple of quick leads here that I was playing with earlier. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You want to see if you can make it art? I mean, we bet you can. There, that's pretty close. There. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Anything over 300 volts will get the breakdown voltage of air, but you got you to gotta be really close for an air breakdown at 300 volts. Well, you're doing more than 300 volts. I ain't seeing that. Not a damn thing. <laughs> All right. No, the, Let's the, amount of, the amount of current you get out of this is very, very. Oh powerful. yeah, it's going to be trivial for current. It's just it's got a, a pretty good kick to it. Yeah, okay, there's one side. But we can charge a Cockroft Walton with this and make like a hand mm -hmm. crank uh, Mark's bank, which would be kind of cool because that would work. All right, you ready? All right, now hold on. We need to go to AC volts, and I'm going to kick the range to manual so we're not out of range. So just at a leisurely pace, I'm doing 150 volts. Yeah. So that's wall voltage right there, just at a, a gentle pace. Yeah. Six hundred and eighty was the max I saw. Maybe seven hundred there. That, that. Wow! It's hard because the handle, like, well, that that's to lock. The yeah. Handle. Well, it, it it's for holding it. It's really hard to do because it's so tiny, and I'm doing it at a screw angle. Let me let me adjust a couple things and see if I can do better. Okay, what's the current record? I saw it clip to 700 and something. Ah, okay, you gotta move a little. Let me let me get in my proper starting position. Okay, you ready? Go for it. Okay. Uh, 640, 740 is what I saw as a max. Hold on, wait. 7, 7, 800. I'm, I'm gonna have a stroke if I go any faster than that. I hit eight. What did you do? I'm hitting the min-max button. Why is it beeping? I think because it's up there. I want, hold on, max. Max. Okay. okay, you ready? I think, go for it. We got to Oh, can I get the guy? You need more? 823. You can do it. Come on. Oh, 
What? 836. Let me, let me try something here. I got an idea. Okay, I'm gonna try it with this. That's a stupid okay. idea. Okay. You only hit about 760 there. Ah, you can do better. You try it! <laughs> Let's see what you got! That's hard. <laughs> it's surprisingly hard. It's not physically like hard, it's just. And I'm a see a twitchy guy. Or... What'd you get? No, I'm gonna, I didn't 780. Need. 780. Okay. See, it's 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 because it's so damn short. Hang on, I'm getting you. No, 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 no. All right. Yeah, that's Don't worry put about on that. With the, that's, that's, no, it's, that's put on, it's put on with a drive pin. Okay. You got a drift? You can't put a chuck a power drill on it. That's like eight flavors of cheating. This is a raw test of manliness. You're up. You feel free. I think we should let us do it. That's a way of doing it. 890. Nope. You, know, you can you can the sound is different when you get it good. Yeah, 895 is the best you've gotten. 907. idea but we're not getting there. Ready? Yep. So 907 is about is our record. Got. Yes. Okay. But we got 907 volts out of a little hand crank generator. So like that. I don't. I don't think anybody on the internet's going to be impressed by this at all. <laughs> but you should try this. Take the Biddle Mega Challenge here. So we did it. We learned a waveform. We, yes, we did. We explored things. We now know that the little thing that I thought put out like. Because the manual says I like, hear three or six hundred volts, something right. like that. And we get nine hundred well, volts out of some, that thing. In all probability, they halfway rectify the thing, so the voltage is cut in half. Oh yeah, there's. You can see in the video they got a, a little circuit board, and there's there's very clearly a couple diodes on it. Where'd the circuit card go? Mm. The that was like a week ago, man. I've cleaned since then. I saved the really cool stuff, like like this. I saved that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's too cool to throw away. But as far as where the dopey circuit board is for that, hell, it is. That's right, break it. This is why we can't have nice things. But because of that, I'm not in the emergency room. Because see, when I was younger and not quite as smart and didn't have nearly as many scars, something like that would happen and I'd go, ah! And that's how you get a concussion, because the first thing goes, you go, ah, and you die for it. And then you contact right here, and then you wake up there with, like, Paul going, hey, stupid, hey, you all right? And just, no, because I've never, never had experiences like that. And it's fine. Look, it's totally, everything's just, stop. Ah! No, everything. That was gratuitous. Yeah, I know. It just needed to be done. 
That's a different guy. He makes that. That's an electro boom. Yes. If, that's a, this ain't an electro he's boom. He's actually an engineer. Right? Yeah, he's a wicked smart guy. He puts a lot of work into suffering like that. And right. I've seen some of his stuff where I'm like, that's not fake. That actually hurts. Yes. Like, he, he knew going in, <laughs> this is going to hurt, and he still did it. And I'm just like, I got, got nothing but respect for you because it's... He makes good videos, and they're hard. <laughs> for the record, we hurt ourselves almost as much. We just don't do it intentionally and premeditated and have any of the safety precautions. And sometimes just... don't notice that we've injured ourselves. There is that. Look at this. Paul's, Paul's got a hole in his arm. I, I, and this is after I patched that up. The black might actually be... Um, I think... No. I think that's your sin of let, let it Let it heal. Okay. Heal at your age. Like that's going to happen. Another scar. You don't have time to buy cream bananas. You guys have fun. I want to thank everybody for hanging out today and learning a little bit about this. And yeah, that's what we got. This wraps up the series on the Biddle Mega Autopsy. I like to be a little follow-up video and got to go into more detail on that. You guys have fun. If you like this video, something diodes and we'll do some shit. <laughs> We'll have diodes. It'll be okay. But if you like this kind of stuff, the insanity that Paul and I do around here, check out the links below in the description. We have a Discord. And you and all of your weirdo friends are invited to come hang out and explore science and engineering or just, you know, engineering. And engineering. Nering. Nering. I can yeah. say penguin. Shut up. So if you like this kind of thing, check out the links below in the description. Get involved. And until then, as always, we'll see you next time. fucking mic on it just works that's the mic you got to turn on the one with the big goddamn level on top says mike yeah okay i had a circuit card a big one like that shatner kept having me put things on it we should have this or we should put one of these on why not so i literally put a little silk screen underneath one of the connectors okay to point out to people it's an overhead view of a kitchen sink <laughs> I literally put an image of a kitchen sink on a circuit card because That's fucking funny. I thought it was. <laughs>